we state unequivocally that Rigadi Gashagwa is a son in our community and those attacking him are pursuing their greedy, selfish interests. Tadalea, kumpigadia huyo tugu yetu Rigadi Gashagwa, kama mtoto wetu. There is also emerging isolation of the Gema communities, which is manifesting in attempts by some of our own people to divide the community into east and west of Mount Kenya. This is coming hot in the heels of insults and humiliations of the former president, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, and various attacks on the deputy president, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagua. This will have ramifications at the political, economic, and social levels. Further, we are concerned with the instability seen in healthcare delivery, the entire education sector, and in particular higher education, and the rising unemployment of our youth. As Gemma community leaders, we have made some interventions and one which includes holding dialogue with the president himself. In August this year, in the height of the Gen Z's protests, Gemma leaders sought and were granted an appointment with our leader, His Excellency the President. At the meeting, Gemma leadership candidly discussed a number of issues with the president and he gave us a good reception. The unfolding scenario. Dear Kenyans, it saddens Kenyans and Gema communities in particular that three years before the next general election in 2027, some elected leaders in the Mount Kenya region have continued to ignore the plight of the millions of people that voted for them to their current offices and instead are preoccupying themselves in rivalry between themselves, speculative competition, and scheming even for 2032 elections while other regions in Kenya are settled and peaceful and pursuing development. Instead, His Excellency, the Deputy President, has been at the center of ceaseless attacks from a section of elected leaders who are our own people, pouring vitriol and threatening him with impeachment. The calls have recently gained momentum with leaders from other regions threatening to table impeachment motions against the Deputy President. There are fever pitch activities aimed at dividing the communities of Mount Kenya around certain political figures who allegedly hope to inherit the position of deputy president if the mischief of planned ouster succeeds. In view of the foregoing, we as Gemma leaders propose the following. One, an immediate cessation of hostilities between politicians from Mount Kenya in particular and the country in general. The focus ought to be on delivering services to Kenyans. Two, perpetrators of hate speech, some of which is very grave and circulating in social media and which disparages Gema communities should be investigated and those implicated charged. Three, we stand in solidarity with His Excellency Rigadi Gashagua, the Deputy President of Kenya, a demand that he should be led to finish his term. The people who voted for the president, William Ruto, and regarding the Ashagwa ticket, gave them a five-year mandate, which should be led to run its course. To isolate regarding Ashagwa from that ticket and subject him to unwarranted public lynching and intimidation is hypocritical and mischievous. Unless the president has okayed these attacks, the members of parliament should get on with their work and leave the deputy president to do his work. And if the president is okaying it, he should tell us. Number four, we urge elected leaders from Mount Kenya who have been propagating divisive propaganda, A, to cease the attacks on the deputy president forthwith. B, to stop conniving to sponsor an impeachment motion against the deputy president and to drop their mischief forthwith. Mm -hmm. C, 
In the event that the threat to sponsor an impeachment motion against His Excellency Rigaldi Gashagwa is carried out by others, we urge all the elected leaders with roots in Mount Kenya to vote against the motion. The people from Gema communities will consider those continuing to fight the deputy president and conspiring with others from other regions against him to be unsuitable and unworthy leaders in our communities. Yes. We state unequivocally that Rigadi Gashagwa is a son in our community and those attacking him are pursuing their greedy, selfish interests and those of their sponsors, but not of the Gema community in any way. This Gema president Ruto Pia Nimtoto were two. What ni watoto wetu? Yema tunasema tu watu wa Kenya hata wale wanaoleta fujo. Kokote bunge na wote ni watoto wetu. Na tunawapenda wote tunaomba waache mambo mengine waangalie vile tunavyoimba wimbo wetu wa taifa. Tumeona kwamba tunagawadika kidogo na tumegawajwa na watu wetu, kati yetu, pengine wakisema wametoka Mount Kenya East, wakituata Mount Kenya West. Na sisi tuasema, sisi tuja mii moja, na tuasema, tunakubali, tulipo chagua watu wetu, na tukapawa uh, deputy president about the regarding a chagua, tulitoseka na tukabina tatubika, katika jihi kama ipasavyo. Kwa hivyo, tuasema zaidi, mambo baya naonekana yako katika uh, katika uh, 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 ukahaba abao meletua katika idala ya matibabu, ya masomo, ida kukosa kasi. Mambo baya tunachukia na kuyapiga na tunasema Watu wetu ambao tuliwatuma kwa parliament tumesema waende watufanyie kazi sio waende kuzosada na kutuletea mambo ya impeachment na tunasema juzi sisi kama jamii ya gema tulimtembelea tulipomuomba uh, uh, ruhusa president wetu na tukamuona na tukazungumza naye mambo mengi bao hatutaki kuyaleta hapa na akatuahidi yale yote atatenda ili kuleta ufadisi katika nchi hii lakini inavyoonekana tangu tulipotoka uongozi wa aliyeondoka rais wa hapo zamani uhuru kijata alipoletewa mashtaka fujo na batusi ambao yaliletwa na wale walio katika uongozi na tunasema hii hatuwezi kuuliza iendele tunauliza ikome mara mwisho tunasema deputy president ambaye amekuwa hivi karibuni akiletewa shida na mambo mengine mashtaka ambao haifai sisi tunasema kwa baya ni mtoto wetu atuomba aachwe amalize kazi yake isipokuwa kuwe kumeletwa mambo mengine kutoka juu ambayo yanabulega ya juu katika mambo haya na mengine ambayo hatukutaja tunasema kwamba hiyo mambo twaomba ikome kabisa watu wetu walio parliament waendelee na maendeleo kama kazi tulio watu wakafanya huko wale wabao wameleta hivi karibu, karibuni matamshi ya uovu na batusi na mambo mabaya kwa gema twaomba nao pia watazamwe na waletwe kotini wakiwa wamekosa na twasema tumesimama na huyu digadhi la chagua kama mmoja wa watoto wetu akiwa amekosa tuelewe na tuelezwe na, na twasema pia sisi kutoka mlima Kenya tumekuwa tukijaribu tuwezavyo kuondoa uzushi na maovu yanaoletwa kwetu sisi
na kwa hivyo tuwasema mambo matatu. One, kwamba tugetaka hizo attacks zote kutuwezio legwa kwa deputy president zikome. Na pia tunasema wale wanao leta hata hiyo muso tumesikia ya kumuibich wao tuwasema na marafu na maovu mwengine bawe ya nasema tuwawuliza kama wametoka kwa watoto wetu wama wapi wakome. Yes. Na ratatu tumesema kwamba hizi mambo za kutisha ambazo zideletwa na hiyo muso na mwengine ya kija tuwawuliza wote walioko huko watoto wetu kwa bunge they vote against this. Na tuwasema kutoka sisi gamba community tutaendelea kumpigania huyo dugu yetu ligathe gachagua kama mtoto wetu na wengine wote about watoto wetu. Mambo ya Uh, urizi ambao tulio nao wa mambo yetu ambayo tuliyapata kutoka kwa babu zetu na Mungu twasema tunaona yameanza mengine kuuzwa kama vile JKIA kama vile Intercontinental International Conference Center na kama vile mambo mengine katika kufichwa kwa PPP yani Private Personal Partnership na tuomba kwa basisi tutaahidi kuendesha umoja na maendeleo.